heartbeat. No, 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 no. I got so much passion inside, I can't take it. And my heartbeat is racing. It's so exciting. All this fortune inside me. I'll be, I'll be here telling you the psychology of psychology. See, it's so strange and it's so weird how you could neglect something that's purely good for you, but yet you accept and make time for the things that's not good for you. So you would make excuses for the things that's healthy for you, for the things that's pouring into, for the things that's 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 supporting you and being there for you. So you make excuses for that. You put those things on the back burner because those things come with a responsibility. But the thing that neglects you and make you feel like like you ain't the one, like you ain't chosen, like you ain't worthy. Those are the things you want to stand up to. Those are the things you want to prove yourself. See, you want to prove yourself to your abusers. You want to prove yourself to your accusers, but not to your lovers. See, you disguise your lover as another and afraid to love your lover as a lover so you hide the love inside and disguise yourself as another but really inside you really is a true lover but you hide the true lover because you can't decide or even know how to divide the truth from the lies so you despise the truth and you love the lies because you're so used to the lies that the lies has become your truth see this is what i'm trying to do see they could call you and and ignore you and and, and break you down and emotionally abort you and those are the ones that you stand up to those are the ones you give your all to those are the ones you put in years and those are the ones you give your tears and those are the ones you give your fears and those are the ones you let your walls down those are the ones you let your guards down those the ones you break a whole damn castle and a block down just to let them all in so they can break you down now how do i stop now see this is the psychology of psychology see you wouldn't be in depth <laughs> listen to what i'm about to say see you wouldn't be in depth if you wasn't always trying to please you and make yourself feel good too see you wouldn't be in financial depth if you wasn't trying to please you and always trying to please others too see your life could be debt free not just financially but emotionally and psychologically too see you wouldn't be where you are you wouldn't even be who you are if you wasn't trying to please you and please them too see the you that you pleasing is the you that you don't really be needing see the you that you pleasing is the you that you really don't be needing but you don't know you don't need that you so you hold on to that you as if it's you and you and that other you oh y'all have such a beautiful bond it's so warm and blue it's so it could be so cold at times so not you because it's really not you see you embrace all the things that don't make you feel like you because you believe those things can make you feel like you see this whole psychology about psychology is is it's like it's been written down and sold as a product see even as a kid you play with toys and dolls and you match yourself with that image and grow up to to live in that fairy tale of all the toys and all the things that you witnessed and played with and you actually believe that that's what you deserve in fact you believe you are that toy. So you let others toy with you. You let others play that game with you. You let others mess you up and, and mock you up. And then when they finish done playing with you, they throw you in the chest with the rest of the other toys. See, you like that. Because it, it it must bring you some some kind of joy, see, to let someone put you in a chest and not in their chest. See, that must bring you some kind of joy because you stayed there for so long knowing that it was so wrong. Because the truth seemed like a harsh reality. The truth seemed like a lie. And the lie seemed like the truth. The lie seemed like reality. The lie was something you connected to because you felt like you made so much mistakes in your life that you only deserve a lie. So anything that's true, anything that can see through your own illusions, you felt offended by. See, you have felt attacked. You have felt like it was trying to get something out of you that you wasn't willing to give. But yet... You give yourself to the lies. You give your full self to the lies. In fact, you gave so much of yourself to the lies that you can't even lie in bed without feeling like it's a lie. See, and that's what this whole thing is about. It's so powerful and so deep that soon as you get broken, 
You go run to an external source. You go run to something to 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 gain this 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 deep desperation of attention to make you feel validated, and you don't even care who it's from. In fact, you love it when it's from others that you don't know where they're coming from. You love it from those that you can't see or even feel or even touch, but you fell in love <laughs> with the lies that they gave you to build you up. See, this whole psychology of psychology is kind of interesting when you think of it. Like a psychologist in psychology, you see. You don't even have to go to college to understand the psychology that I'm, that I'm giving you psychologically, see. Break down your past hurt, right? Because the fact that you even still believe that there's a past when the past is not even still there, even if you feel emotionally attached to a past, it's still never there. So it's hard for you to get past your past, and that's where you can't get past, and that's why you're still looking for a past. You're still looking for permission for somebody to give you a key or give you something that you feel like you was missing, and now you feel like you're getting what you need but it wasn't really what you was getting. See, what I'm spitting is really how you've been spit on, how you've been degraded, how you've been neglected, and how sometimes you was only used for an erection. See, what I'm saying is that you've been treating yourself like this object. So the objective of the object is almost subjective on this subject. So you can't even truly get into a full state of being because your steady being only seeing yourself as a non-being so now you constantly non-being what you truly are inside because you were afraid that it would make you look a certain way and you trying to look a certain way but you looking a certain way only makes you look certain ways see what i'm trying to tell you is that your whole life could be changed. Your whole life could be changed. Like nothing could ever be the same. But you're so used to the same that you've become the same. And you can't see yourself without the same. Because all you know is the same. So the same is the same. But that can't be the same. <laughs> the same can't be the same. Because even the same... It's not the same, even sometimes the same, even seem strange. Like it, it starts to change when it seem too same. That means something going on or you just went too insane. See the same, don't even stay the same. See what stays the same is you even when the same change. See, you ain't really afraid of change. Or maybe that's the reason why you act insane. Maybe. You really are afraid of change, but I don't really believe you're afraid of change. I mean, you change your clothes. I mean, you try to change those, but it ain't really change that you're afraid of. In fact, I don't even think you're afraid of what you're afraid of. I think you just like being afraid of what everybody else is afraid of because you feel like everybody else has a leg up and they know what they're doing in life. <laughs> Oh, how they played you. Look what they gave us. Look what they gave you. See, you could be something more. See, something more, right? And I'm not saying that you're not the more that you could be. I'm saying you already are the more. You could be something more than that. You could be an actual door. Instead of looking for a door to go through, you could be the actual door that you walk through. See, what I'm telling you is that... This psychology of psychology, so emotionally, psychologically, you could transform yourself because you like settling so much that it damaged yourself. And it make you go on a rampage because you feel like nobody understand a damn thing. Or maybe that's because you say the same thing in the same way and then a the damn thing changed. So that's why it's hard for you to really try to explain. 
when you keep saying the same thing instead of change the thing that you saying inside here. And then maybe, just maybe, it will work outside here. See right there? That was a clue that I just gave to you. And hopefully this message get through to you. Hopefully this message gets sent to you and it hits you so deeply that it feel like I'm venting to you. See, what I just said was something so powerful, something so great and victorious, something that's not notorious, but something that's notorious for standing for you. See, I just gave you a great force. I gave you encouragement. I just told you that it's okay, that you got a yes to be you. See, I just held you and I hold you and allow you to be you. Yes, okay? Even when it get uncomfortable, even when it feel like it's hurting and stabbing you, that's actually a good thing because that's what it's supposed to do. That's what healing does. Healing is more so of a spiritual peroxide, a spiritual alcohol. It burns and it sting, but it's going to clear out your holes. And then when the air hit it, soft kisses, emotional kisses. When you allow yourself to emotionally breathe. When the last time you allow yourself to emotionally breathe? When the last time you allowed yourself to emotionally leave out of a situation that was emotionally a deplete? See, what I just gave you was encouragement to truly be yourself. Truly know that it's okay for you to be not okay. It's okay for you to want more. It's okay for you to deserve more. It's okay for you to say F the past and F the mistakes and F the mess up and F the failures and F yesterday. It's okay for you to be present. It's okay for you to not look the best. It's okay for you to not have the best. It's okay for you to not fit in with the best. It's okay for you to not feel the best. It's okay for you to not think the best. Because, believe it or not, sometimes those things is the best. Especially when you being you. To me, you are the best. I appreciate you.